Hmm. Hey, baby. Eh? It's like you've backslided, though. How? Have you changed church? No. I've not been seeing you in church now. So what happened? Why have you not been coming to church? Um. It's nothing. My sister, you need to start going to church, too. Do you know what people have been saying about you? They say you have started joining people of the world and be walking up and down. Ah uh-uh, ah, me. The news is all over. Oh, me. I'm telling you my own. If you die now, you will go to hell fire. Oh. And me, as I'm looking at you like this, eh? You look like a sinner to me. Oh, <laughs> eh, I'm not a sinner. Oh. Please stop. Eh, start going to church now. Do you know if you die tomorrow now, you will go to hell fire? Eh? At least just secure your name in the book of life. Start going to church, I beg. Don't tell me you're not a sinner, I beg. Abby. Eh, now, start going to church. Eh, somebody's even inviting me to church this Sunday. Oh. Eh, go to church. But somebody's inviting me to Dubai this same Sunday. And the person has arranged my papers and flight ticket. So, what are you trying to say? You will leave church and go to Dubai. Eh, which one do you think I should do? You're asking me what I think you should do. Leave that Dubai and go to church, Joe. Sharing rest in that Dubai, eh? And then can go there. Don't you know that anything that takes the place of God in your life is an idol? My dear sister, please go to church and leave that Dubai. What if you're going to Dubai now? You now have plane crash on the road. <laughs> Don't you know it's hellfire you're going to? Uh uh-uh. uh. Why do you like thinking negative? No, negative? me, I'm telling you, I like thinking randomly. Oh. Ha. You're my friend. I cannot allow you to die a shameful death. <laughs> Success. Yes, mommy. Come. Leave that Dubai and go to church. Me, I'm telling you my own. And what I'm telling you is the truth. Go and get me my nail file inside. But mommy, I'm just coming from inside now. What do you mean? <laughs> my friend, will you get inside and get me my nail file? Ah, uh-uh. Can't I send you a message again? That brother is calling you to Dubai. Do you know how he got his money? I beg, I beg. Vicky, I don't like the way you're sounding. I'll ask somebody else. Okay. No, Allah. Mama so says, good afternoon. No? Uh uh, iPhone baby, good afternoon. Please excuse me. Hope there's no problem. Yes, there's no problem. Okay. Oh. Mama so says, please do. Assuming somebody's inviting you to church. Mm-hmm. And another person is inviting you to Dubai that same Sunday. Mm-hmm. The person has arranged for everything, bought your flight ticket. Mm. Please, what will you do? <laughs> eh, it's not as if I don't want to go to church, oh. but then I've been going to church since, and Dubai is a place I would really love to go to. So, if I get this kind of opportunity, <laughs> me, oh, I will go to Dubai, Abby, and leave church, married woman. Ha, look at the kind of advice that you're giving to a young girl like this that is full of life. It's women like you that is spoiling our generation, no? Eh? So now you're telling her to leave church and go to Dubai. You want her to miss her future husband in that church, eh? If you were behaving like this, will you see your husband and marry, eh? Is your husband aware that you can follow a man and go hey. to Dubai? See me see problem, oh. So you're telling this girl like this that it's fine like this to leave church and go to Dubai. You want her to go now, nah, she'll not go and die and go to hellfire, eh? Leave church that she will go and serve God and look for her future husband and go to Dubai. Mama so says, you save that is talking. Do you go to church? When last did you go to church and serve God? Hey, hey, don't insult me, my friend. I'm not insulting you. Me, I'm telling you the truth. Oh. Don't be giving people rubbish advice. If you don't have anything to say, just go. We ask for simple advice. I did not say she should come and tell her nonsense. Is it not my opinion you ask? I did not say she should not go to church. I'm just giving her no, my no, no, opinion. no, no. You're not telling her the correct thing to do. You're telling her to leave God and go and follow man in Dubai. Hey, hey. <laughs> if it's like that, will you be married by now? Please, if you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth. Married woman, like you need any advice in the zoo. See, I see, wear big clothes and stand there and be saying nonsense. So it's me that is saying nonsense. Yes, so if you don't know what to say or you don't have advice to give to her, close your mouth and stop giving rubbish advice. Married woman, like you, what kind of thing is coming out from, from your mouth? Uh uh-uh. uh. Mommy, what happened? Success, see me, oh. Is this auntie that called me this afternoon just to insult their elder sister? Uh uh-uh, uh, Auntie, what happened? See you, success. Somebody invited me to church. But another person is inviting me to Dubai that same day. 
and the person has arranged for my flight ticket and everything already. And I'm telling her to leave that Dubai trip and go to church. Go to church because like this, as I'm seeing you, your name is in the book of death. Uh-uh. Ebere, you need to go to church so you will not die and go to hellfire. And say, Ebere, you need to go to church. Oh, 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 she has told you. But auntie, is there no church in Dubai? Eh? Oh ho! <laughs> mm-hmm. What if your future husband is in Dubai? Oh ho! Mommy, let's go. It's people like you that want to use religion and scatter this country. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Don't mind her. <laughs> Mrs. John the Baptist, aka Assistant Jesus Christ. Church rat. Mommy, huh. let me fall at a bridge to Dubai now. My friend, go inside. You fall and Vicky and go to church. <laughs> Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want to go to heaven? Now, you have to put aside everything that will distract you. People go to church late because they take time making up, trying to use cosmetic. I am not saying that looking good is bad. But why at the expense of your service and worship to God? Now, look at Do you know that people take their time buying clothes, expensive clothes, buying jewelry, expensive ones, doing all manner of things? Now, those things can drag you to hell if you don't know how to make best use of them. That was why the Bible said, if your right hand will make you to go to hell, you better cut it off. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All these jewelries, you buy earrings, you buy necklaces, they can distract a Christian. Do you know about that? Do you know that in our present age, what is Bible? Now, if they see someone carrying the Bible, they start mocking the person. Now, it's all about phones. Everything is digital, technology. This can lead you to hell if you get distracted. So, I want to encourage you. You don't want to go to hell, right? Now I want you to make a decision in your heart to follow Jesus. Are you ready to give your life to Christ now? Now, lift up your hands. You're going to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Come into my life. So help me God. So help me God. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to encourage you. Now that you've made this prayer, put away everything that will distract you. When you wake up, the first thing should be, God, thank you. And then you go to the word of God. Make it a habit. Once you wake up, don't mind your phone. Don't mind any other distraction. God first. And God will be with you in all things. Okay? Welcome to the new life in Christ. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, peace be with you. Hello? Hello? Hello, my good day, man. Yeah, um, please. This nails that you fixed me. Yes. Can you come and help me remove it? Uh-uh. Madam, you want to remove the nails already? Yes, I don't like them again. Ah, sorry, but I cannot come today. Can I come tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> I hope rapture does not happen before <laughs> then. <laughs> ah, madam, you are very funny. Don't worry, rapture will not take place. I'm coming tomorrow, man. Okay. All right, thank you, man. Oh. Success, you want to wash? No, I want to burn it. Ha! Is that not your jewelries? Eh? Uh-huh. What happened? <laughs> hey, Barry, didn't you hear what the Bible said? Anything that will take you to hell, cut it off. So as I cannot cut this one off, I will burn it off. Ha! I don't want to miss heaven. For any reason. Ah! My success, if you don't want it, you can give it to me now. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? Look at you. After everything Bible said about trouser, you're still wearing trouser. Eh? What did the Bible say about trouser? Don't you have Bible? Read your Bible. Look at your head. You're still wearing hair. Marine spirit hair. Hair that they come from dead bodies. That's what you're wearing. Ebere, these things will drag you to hell. They will drag you to hell. But Maso says, if you don't want it, you can still give it to somebody else now. Ebere, I will not be the reason why anybody will go to hell. Shorty here. I will not give it to anybody. I will burn it. 
My television, I've thrown it away. My iPhone, I've thrown it away. All these technologies that devil is using to deceive people, I've thrown it away. If you like, keep wearing all these makeups, all these things, all this worldly dressing. It will drag you to hell. Don't say I didn't tell you. But mama success, you're talking about makeup and you're still carrying your nails. Don't worry. I've called the stupid boy that fixed these devilish nails for me. He's coming to remove it, eh? I pray trumpet does not stand before he gets here. Oh, ha. oh trumpet qua. Satan, shame on to you, all power belong to Jesus. Shame on to you, all power belong to Jesus. <laughs> What are you looking at? <laughs> Big head. <laughs> All power belong to Jesus. All power belong. Success, what are you trying to do? I want to eat biscuits, mom. Did you pray over that biscuit? Mm, I pray to my mom. <laughs> After everything I've been teaching you in this house, Success, do you want to go to hell? Now, where did you get that biscuit from? It's the change on Kokeban gave me after he sent me a message. And you cannot bring it for me to bless it. You didn't even pray over it. And you want to eat it. Come on, go and throw away that demonic biscuit. Go and throw it away. Eh, come here, come here, come here. Stand here, stand here. Hey, uh, um, my baby, yo. Success, you're wearing a earring in my house. You're wearing the devil's item on your body. Hey, Oluwa, oh. I should have told you to throw away all these things. Now, will you get inside and remove it and burn it? Who is even advising you? Uh -uh. That's how they used to initiate people. Go, 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 go. Burn them. I don't want to see them in my house. If I see that thing on your ear again, I'll cut it. Just try me and see. Hello? Hello, ma. Are you coming to remove this thing or not? Ah, sorry, ma. I'm very, very sorry, ma. Um, see, uh, before I finish what I'm doing now and start coming to your place, it might be late. And uh, so, please, can you come to my studio? Are you sure you'll be around? If not, I'll use scissors and cut it. No, ma, please, just come to my studio. I'll help you and remove it. Those are acrylic nerves. No problem, I'm coming. I'll be on my way. Alright, thank you, ma. This one even looks like distraction. It's like I'll throw it away. <coughs> phone and throw inside the dustbin. I don't need it again. Make sure you throw it away inside the dustbin. Oh. Okay. Let me go and remove these nails. Satan, shame unto you, all power be. Sorry, ma, I will do that. In fact, off it, off it. Okay, sorry. All these devilish songs of these days. Izoma, Izoma. Eh, eh, they 
there, stay there, stay there. What is uh-uh. it? Is that space not okay for uh-uh. you? Madam, what's the problem now? Hey, hey, I don't ask you to talk to me or just stay that place. Please, what's your problem now? Do you know me before? Hey! How am I supposed to know you when your mouth is like people that suck blood? <laughs> Vampire. See your eyes. Like willy willy. Look at your makeup. Demonic. Look at your laps. Exposed. How will somebody see you now and marry you? Just look at a small child like you. Demonic things all over your body. Just negody. Everything. Even human hair from dead bodies. That's what you're wearing. How can you make heaven? Eh? You are eyeing me, Abby. Without your quick eye, you are eyeing me. You go to hair fire. Madam, you that is talking. Are you not putting on news? Acrylic news for that matter. Where do you think I'm going to? I'm going to the shop of the idiot that fixed this demonic thing in my hand. I just hope rapture does not take place before I get there. <laughs> Did he force you? No, he tied you up and fixed the nails on your fingers. Thank God for salvation. I gave my life to Christ yesterday and I will make heaven. If you like, don't repent. Sinner. She, I'm talking now, you are pressing phone. Uh-uh. The devil's device. Phone kwa, madam. Eh, hey now. If not, why will it distract you when I'm trying to tell you the word of God? God, eh. All this thing that devil is using to deceive people. In the days of old, there was nothing like this. Nobody lied. Because there was nothing like this. This is a lying device. You use it to lie. You say you're here and you're not there. Technology have spoiled this world. That's why there's nothing like true Christianity again. If I ask you, do you have Bible? You tell me you have app. You have Bible app on your phone. Devil is deceiving you people. Continue. That's how many of God are buying private jet. Say it's evangelism they are doing. When Jesus was doing evangelism, was there anything like private jet? He was going door to door to do evangelism. That's true Christianity. Not now that technology is spoiling everything. All of you that are using technology. Technology. technology will kill you people. You people will go to hell fire. It will drag you people to hell fire. You people will burn in hell. What kind of human being is this? <laughs>